What's up, Zox fam? And we're back with some more Epic 7. Now, I'm actually pretty hyped. I'm pretty hype. I'm pretty hype. Now, this is my first uh, character preview that we're going to be checking out, which is the Midnight Gala Lilius. Uh, I guess we'll kind of talk about this, at least with some of the knowledge that I have, uh, considering that we've only been back and I would even say started with a fresh account. We're going on day 13. Um, so we'll be doing some pulls in this video, too, uh, for my ML summons. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's see what this is all about and what value this unit is going to be bringing to the game. Filth always hides in the shadows. Once in a while, okay. you just need to bring everything to light. I love that Aww, voice line. Struggle. That's fire. Try your best. Sheesh. Though it won't make a difference. That was clean. Every darkness has its own distinct shade. Midnight Gala okay. Lilius is okay. the fearless successor who inherited the will of Prolucio. She was originally excluded from the competition that decides the family's successor. However, when she returns to her family's home, oh, it's time for her to take she her throne back. Center of attention after being chosen by the Bastion of Prolusia. Eventually, she accepts her fate and enters a struggle rife with political conflict to become the successor who inherits the will of Prolusia. But oh, first, wow. she must eliminate all her rivals. It's time for me to make my move. Okay, that's kind of fire. All right, hero and introduction. Lilius is a five-star Earth Elemental thief. She has high speed and can increase her attack through her imprint concentration. Sheesh. Attack percent imprint's kind of nice. Two, elaborate scheme. At the start of battle and at the end of the turn, grants damage limit to the caster for one turn. After attacking on the caster's turn, when the target's health is 50% or less, activates it now or never. Oh my now God. Can only be activated once every three turns. Damage limit. Damage suffered in one attack does not exceed 35% of max health. Now or never. Wait, nah. Attack of all <laughs> or increasing combat readiness by up to fifteen percent. Jesus Christ! AP push Still with free. the or combat AP. readiness push with the uh, attack the attack out. of the caster for two turns before attacking the enemy in their blind spot, and increases combat readiness of the caster by thirty five. Thirty five percent. When the target's max health is greater than the caster's max health, penetrates the target's defense with the penetration Whoa. increasing proportional to the difference. Up to a maximum of 100%. A wow. successful attack always results in a critical hit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who made this kick? Spell. Yo. Go, Kyla. Attacks the enemy with Kyla and recovers health. Amount recovered increases proportional. Wow. To a successful attack always results in a critical hit. She always can crit? Increases the amount recovered. I wasn't expecting that. Midnight Gala Lilius's artifact, hostess of the banquet, following the waves of agony that descended upon. Okay, so this makes the artifact make more sense. A new hostess emerges to claim her rightful place. Increases effect resistance by up to forty percent. When attacking, if the target's health is fifty percent or more, increases damage dealt by up to sixteen percent. Okay, so that's kind of she's kind of stacked, dude. Try your best. She like literally covers all her bases. The will of Perlucia. Players will be able to meet Midnight Gala Lilius through the limited summon starting September 21st. Wow. Yeah, she's ridiculous. All right, so demo combat. Let's see. Come on, struggle. Try your best. Is she going to kill Craw, though? No, That's kind of crazy. Difference. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Dude, is she is she tank meta counter? Like, holy crap. Dude, that's it. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just like, like I, I read it on paper and realized that that seemed to be the case. But actually seeing her milk a craw, bro. Holy crap. Dude, that's insane. Oh, my God, dude. Oh man, is she countering all of this crap, the defense, all that stuff? Cause she penetrates, right? Dude, this is nuts. I will deliver unto you your salvation. Wow. So that corrupt energy. Going to an immunity with the cowerwick. Oh my god, dude. Personally teach you some manners. Away with you. Kills the crop. Dude. <laughs> That's insane. 
That is literally insane. Let's carry out my plan. And let's see, she gets health back. Bro, the fact she's even hitting a uh, ML Landy that hard is nuts. See, but you also gotta wonder, like, what's the build on the other team? Because there's that, that's insanity. Dude, you know what vibe she's giving me? She's kind of reminding me of Ha Young. That's a, that's a, that's who she kind of reminds me. I never fight a losing battle. It is my job. Oh my god, dude. To restore balance. Careful. All right. Move aside. We got uh AOL. I'll do anything for her. Yeah, they're done, dude. They're, that's a G. That's a clean GG. Her S1 is dumb. Get that. Wow. It, oh my god, the HP she got back off of that? If you're scared. Oh yeah, I, I didn't think she was gonna be that ridiculous. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, it's good that uh RTA seasons new units get banned because holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, if I would have seen that right side team in any other situation, I wouldn't have even thought they would have lost like that. But she is straight up clapping their defense. Hey you, watch out! I tried to warn them. And then let me see how hard she hits this uh this Laluka. She's gonna delete her. Are you going for the Ravi kill? Yeah, Ravi kill, yeah. Oh yeah, she's out of here. You should feel honored. Delete it. Delete it. Then gives a oh, combat radius push and an attack up. Dude, that's so strong. That is so strong, dude. Like, who the hell made this unit? But the crazy thing is, is that there's other strong units, but that's a very, very powerful unit. Like, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, GG. Clean win, clean win, Jesus. Oh, more tank to ruin? Oh, they got an Aiden with a freaking, oh my God. Just the fact you can run C. Lilius with uh, with uh, the other Lilius is kind of funny. And who is she cleaving? Who is she cleaving? Oh my God, is she about to get rid of, <laughs> she's about to get rid of Arrowwell? No way. Uh, Oh my god, <laughs> Bro, what is this damage, bro? She is eating these tank units up, bro. This is like... Who made this crap? They hate you guys, dude. Oh my god, guys. Dude, guys. I don't need to see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't need to see anymore. I think the rest is just her clapping this team. But my God, she's stupid. Like, dude, this is nuts. And it's just kind of like, I, you know, again, wasn't really thinking that she was going to. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. Seeing her artifact, I thought that that was going to make her a effect resist unit, like scaling off of effect resist. Because I was like, dude, it's a lot of effect resist. But what it's really doing is it's just pretty much enabling her to not be, you know, it's making it harder to CC her doing things of that nature. Um, and then, of course, because she already has this in innate in her kit. So when the target's health is 50% or more, increases damage by 16%. And then when you go to her kit, um, she's already doing that. So when the target's health is greater than the caster's health, penetrates the target's defense. And the penetration rate is increasing proportional to the difference up to 100% each, uh, uh, up to 100%. So it actually is kind of one of those things where you kind of want to run her a little bit lower so that she's able to get that 100%. If she can get that, then she's pretty much nuking these units off of the face of the planet and i'm almost certain that they don't even have probably the full proper builds somebody's gonna get on here and be one tapping tanks <laughs> so <laughs> it's just kind of crazy and then she enables herself with the attack up um and then again they tried to make sure that too and i guess that's kind of where this damage limit like kind of comes into play at least uh they tried to make sure that the damage suffered in one attack does not exceed 35 percent of her max hp so it, it it's just kind of insane like she's really really good and again I haven't been playing Epic 7 that long, but it is definitely very obvious to tell that this is a great unit. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be pulling for this unit. Again, I'm not telling everybody else they need to pull for, but I'm just saying this unit seems pretty crazy. So, 
Jesus Christ. So yeah, that's kind of insane, dude. But we're going to go ahead and get into my ML summons. All right, guys. So we are back in game. Uh, I got my Moonlight summons. I literally have four summons left uh, so that I can get my five through, uh, or four through five star Moonlight hero summon guaranteed. Uh, and yeah, I'll quickly update you guys on what I've gotten because I've gotten some pretty nice stuff too. Um, so hopefully we get some really good stuff. Maybe get the new shoe. That's kind of hopium right there. But hey, you never know, right? So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and summon. Let's see what we get here. Throw in the first summon. Oh, a six, a, a five star, dude. Off rip. Okay, it's a thief. Who is it? Oh, it's Twisted K Rod. Okay, dude, I'm not mad at that. I'll take it. It's another five star ML to add, and he might get adjusted or buffed. Or again, let me know if he's actually really good. From what I've at least heard, he's not that great. But hey, you never really know. We'll take it. I'm three away, so we're just gonna keep on going. Hey, I take those. That's pretty nice, man. All right, so let's see. All right, so we got like, if we can get an air well, that'd actually be pretty nice too. Not gonna lie. So it looks like we got another thief here. Uh, so it's a Penelope. And let's throw this one here. All right. And we got a warrior. It's a Gunther. Okay, I was about to say, I was just like, I need a tank. All right, so we got one left. Let's see what we get. And then I think we have our four through five star guaranteed. All right. <clears throat> so give me a tank, please. Ah, it's another warrior. It's probably another Gunther. Oh, no, it's a Camilla. Okay, so at least we're getting new uh, MLs that I didn't have. Um, so it looks like we have the upgraded summon now. So let's see what we get. Oh, let's go. We got another five star. Let's go. Okay, a warrior. But who, though? Okay, we got Dark Corvus. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've seen him solo stuff. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that might actually be kind of like a little nice mix in for my RTA later on uh, So I, I'll take that. I'm not I'm really honestly pleased with these pools just because again, they're first pools um, So yeah, we got a dark Corvus. We got a ML Chiron uh, And then the other one that I actually pulled yesterday. I just update you guys on what I got um, So wow, that's crazy. I wasn't expecting to get three ML five stars like that um, like, or really two today, but I got one yesterday from doing a summon. Uh, and the other one that we actually ended up getting on the account. Now, again, my, reminding you guys, this is day 13, right? <laughs> so we're sitting kind of nice. Um, but we did go for the ML uh, Moonlight Summon for the Moonlight Blessing um, for Meteor Cowerwick. I just felt like it made more sense for my account. It's a little bit fresher, made more sense, right? Uh, but we just pulled Dark Corvus. Uh, we just got uh, Chiron and then, uh, or yeah, Chiron's actually a light unit. Uh, but I actually she pulled Lone Crescent Bologna yesterday, literally uh, pulled her yesterday. Uh, and then, of course, we have uh, Chiron. And then I also pulled May Chloe. So this is another reason why I'm not too upset. It's just more MLs to add to the roster. Uh, and again, these are units that I could potentially maybe draft in, uh, you know, certain picks and stuff like that. Might try to find some use for them later on down the line. Uh, and then we also got Infinite Horizon, uh, a, cha a Chates on the account. So, yeah, we're sitting pretty nice. Uh, like I said, Arrowell's been dodging me, which sucks because he seems like such a like really really good uh three star to take up uh to be able to use an rta but it's all right we're just gonna work with what we got but i'm actually pretty stoked though so we in total in like literally two days of pulled like really 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 insane numbers on these uh ml five stars so the account free to play is looking absolutely amazing in my opinion so that's gonna be pretty much that guys again i actually think that this next banner i'm almost at my 605 uh coveted bookmarks we're probably gonna be pulling on it um but yeah that's pretty much going to be that guys everyone stay blessed and yeah stay charged up